Hey guys, it's Joan again, and I am going to make my favorite, I guess kind of fried chicken. So I just have this cooking spray. Spray the bottom of the pan first. And I'm going to turn the heat up on the stove. Unfortunately, we have an electric stove. And I definitely prefer a gas stove, but you uh, use what you have. Then I put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom. So that's kind of where the kind of somewhat fried part comes in. And these are still kind of frozen. These are just uh, skinless chicken breasts that I get at the store, frozen. Oh, that's a great big one. And you may hear Roxy hooting and hollering because she thinks it's dinner time, although she's about an hour too early. But her stomach must be telling her otherwise. And I've got a couple pieces here that are stuck together. And then I just take salt and pepper. And I made chicken thighs. I'm going to make some chicken thighs, too, for my husband because he prefers the dark meat. And I cooked some up for him the other night, and he really, really liked it. So it's very simple. Just olive oil and salt and pepper. You can add other seasonings if you want. But for some reason, this just tastes really good. And then I just cover it. This is my favorite pan, too, for doing this. And then I just cover it with the round glass um, cover. And then I got this at Michael's. It's a spoon rest. And I showed it to my husband. And I said, what do you think about that? And he said that he should be really good looking then. And I said, well, I think you are. So that's it. And then I just um, I started out on a higher heat. And then I turn it down rather quickly and just let them cook. It takes a while to let them cook. But the important thing is at the end, I let the, um, the meat caramelize, the chicken caramelize on the bottom of the pan. And that's what gives it such a good flavor. So, yep. So that's how I do my healthy fried chicken. And it's delicious. All right, you guys, you take care. I'll see you soon. Bye. Whoops, bye. <laughs>